Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the end of June. This is for the sign of Scorpio. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, it will be revealed at the end. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't flip over, but you will get to see it at the end. You know, generally my readings are love readings, so keep that in mind. Um, please leave any negative comments out of the comments thread about another sign. Just leave that sign's name out of your comment. That's all I ask. Um, this is for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates for you, Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Something is unrealistic. Something is unrealistic. Dissatisfying. Whatever this is, it's not allowing you to follow your truth. It's not allowing you to follow your own path. You're probably not listening to your inner guide at this time. I mean, we have the Hierophant card, which is labeled Faith, reversed, but this is the Hierophant. There's some sort of conflict that is going on within you in which you are not listening to your inner guide. Okay, you're not. You're not believing it. You're not believing in yourself. Unable to make some sort of conscious change, but you need to make a conscious change. You need to drop something. I mean, this is Ten of Wands, reverse. This is about, you're about ready to collapse from this situation that is unrealistic. You are. You're about ready to collapse. The hangman reversed. You've been stalling. You've been stalling. Not you've been stalling, but your intuition, your your inner guide's been talking to you, but you've been ignoring it. You've been hanging on to something that is definitely unrealistic. There's I don't know what this is. Okay. Hanging on to something that is unrealistic, that's dissatisfying. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's caused you a, a lot of um overwhelming I mean it's like an overwhelming feeling of heaviness okay it's heavy it's weighing very heavily on you and now you have to make a decision and the seven of cups this is a decision based on you know be careful what you own because what you own owns you are you choosing to stay in a situation for the right reasons Are you staying there because it's financially stable or are you staying because it's love? I mean, that's what the card is. You have to make a decision and there will be consequences to your choice. You may be confused at this time, feeling confused because your inner guide is telling you to do something and you're, you're going against it. You are. You're going against your inner guide. And, you're, and this is really overwhelming you. It's, it's really heavy within you, on your mind. It's, it's not realistic, it's, um, and you've been stalling, you've been sacrificing yourself needlessly. And it's like you're reluctant, you are reluctant to move on, but you want some relief. It's like, man, I just want some relief. Please give me some relief. Six of Pentacles. I think that you've given a lot to this situation. You've put in a lot of effort. You've put in a lot of time. You've been really, really generous trying to make this work. Whatever it is you have. You've been really trying hard to make this work. <laughs> but it feels like there's a lot of... Uh,
criticism here. You may feel like you're being attacked by another person, but, you know, and that's the way, even if they aren't attacking you, because that's your own inner guide poking you, you may feel like you, I mean, you're always having to be on the defensive. You're always having to defend yourself to to, to somebody and it's been causing, or, it, or I don't know, maybe you're defending yourself to yourself. I don't know. There's, there's a, a self-defense here. You know, because you're always being, or maybe you're even overly critical with yourself, or somebody's overly critical with you. There's criticism here, which has caused a lot of indecisiveness. Now, look at this. Seven, seven, seven. They're all touching. Seven, seven, seven. You are being divinely guided to make a move, to do something, to stand up for yourself, to make a decision that your inner guide is telling you to make. You are being divinely guided right now. Seven is a number from heaven. You are staying in a situation that is unrealistic. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly, holding on to something that you really don't have a lot of faith in. Okay, you don't. Faith is reversed. It's caused a big heavy burden on you. You're feeling very heavy with this decision that you need to make. You're going, you're living in some sort of illusion. You're feeling confused about what you need to do. It's, it's definitely dissatisfying and unrealistic. It has you sometimes having to defend yourself. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It feels as though you're dealing with somebody who needs a lot of attention, a lot. The King of Wands reverse. This person needs attention pretty much constantly. And this doesn't have to be the sign. It can be any sign taking on this energy. Somebody that needs a lot of attention. Unreasonable. You're dealing with somebody that's unreasonable. And it's made you feel really, really insecure. And it feels like you might be deciding to, you know, stop dealing with this victim mentality. You know, this, like I said, this person needs attention. This is like a beggar. I need attention, sympathy. You may be deciding, you know what, I, I, I have to bring back stability to my life. I have to bring back, I have to end this difficulty between us. You may be thinking that. You may be decide to stand up for yourself and make this decision to choose something more emotionally fulfilling and more satisfying than the situation that you're in that is very insecure because you're dealing with another person who is um, who needs attention, needs sympathy, need, lacks energy, lacks drive, lacks ambition, and they are weighing you down. They're weighing you down. This person needs constant reassurance. And want somebody to to do all the work. They've lost their focus. They've lost their they've lost their concentration. They've lost their energy, and they want somebody else to do the work. Now, this can be any sign taking on this energy. Let's get some clarifiers here. Your outcome, this is the outcome position. This is the basis of your reading. They're both fives. And we got five, five, five. Well, take a look at that. Seven, 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 five, five. You are being divinely guided to make some major life changes. That's what fives are. Major life changes, major life choices. Fives are about conflicts, they're about instability. You're, you are being divinely guided to make some major life changes. Five, five, five is also about personal freedom. Freeing yourself from this situation that is dissatisfying. The Ten of Wands reversed is also about personal freedom. Pretty strong messages. Your challenge 
is this six of coins. This person that you're dealing with, they're very giving. They give. They give, 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 give. But if you look at what's mirroring that, the seven of cups, are you staying with this person just for the material reasons, just for material assets? Because that's, that's what you choose, either money or love. You choose assets or love with this card. And it's, your challenge is what this person gives to you materialistically. Around the corner, you may decide to let go. You may decide to stop hanging around. How others see you. He, others see you. These just fell out. I have to take them. And I'm going to take them the way they fell out. Okay, they fell out like this. How others see you. They see that you're confused. They see that you may be choosing the wrong, the wrong path. Okay. They see that you have options. They see that you may be, you know, this is a card of illusion, confusion, options, choices, consequences. These just fell out. I was gonna put I was gonna clarify over here, but I'm gonna put them right here. You may be feeling emotionally detached, withdrawn, cold at this time. Maybe you maybe you can't get a grip on these emotions because you're confused. You're confused about what to do next. I feel as though you could be in denial. Three of Swords reversed is you could be in denial. This Ace of Wands, that is passion, that is um, fertility, it's expansion. This could be a new partnership. This is lighting a fire under your ass. Maybe you need to have a fire lit under your, under your ass to bring yourself back in the upright position, to bring, get your emotions back in check. Right now, somebody is absolutely feeling withdrawn and detached because of a situation that is unrealistic. And you could be, you could be in denial. You know, I'm not going to pretty it up. I'm sorry. Um, The basis, the basis of this whole reading is the five of wands reversed. Reluctant, reluctant to face conflict, reluctant to face, deal with tension. I'm reluctant. I don't want to deal with the truth. I don't want to. I don't want any conflict, so I'm going to stay in this situation that is unrealistic and dis unsatisfying. You have temptations, Scorpio. You have desires that need to be met. There, we have a Capricorn here. There's passion. Okay? There's passion. And there's desires. And I think that you're ignoring them. You're ignoring your inner guide in regards to your passion for somebody. You're in denial. What the hell is this? Lies. The devil is lies. And I don't don't I don't think this other I think this is you lying to yourself about something. Not following the right path. Not following your own path. Trying to avoid upheaval. Trying to avoid conflict. Trying to avoid a disaster here. 
That's what's going on here. You're trying to avoid a disaster. You have this fear of suffering. But there is there is some sort of indecision in regards to some conflict that you have with another person that isn't it isn't what you thought it was, okay? It's not it's not love. It's not love. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what this is. It's not it's not a long-term contract. This is the end of a contract. The lovers reverse. This is an end of a contract. A karmic contract. It's a faded event that you are trying to control. This is a faded event that you are trying to avoid. I think you have somebody out, Scorpio, and I think you know it. You have you have a you have a a divine connection with somebody that you are trying to ignore. And it's eating you alive. So I feel as though we need to get a few more. We need to get some more advice here. What advice do you have for Scorpio at the end of this month of June? Let's get some advice for Scorpio for the end of June. Advice. Advice. Advice for Scorpio. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. Please, please, please. The moon reversed is you need to face your fears. You need to face reality. There's hidden forces here in regards to everything happens for a reason. What is meant to be is meant to be, that kind of thing. There's hidden forces here. There's something going on that is meant to be that is being ignored, whether it's you or the other person. It could be, you know, because this could be the person you're dealing with ignoring you, you know, the person that you want to be with, or this could be you ignoring the person that you, that wants to be with you, or it's, it, you're ignoring your feelings. That's what's going on here. Somebody is ignoring their truth. They, they are. They're ignoring their intuition. Your advice, the Eight of Wands reversed, is no more forward movement. No more moving forward with this dissatisfying, unrealistic situation. Whatever it is. It's time to let it end. Whatever situation you're dealing with, this is advice. Whatever situation you're dealing with that is making you feel empty inside needs to end. You need to stop working together with whoever this is that isn't making you happy, that is hurting you, that doesn't serve your purpose. There's no growth in that situation. None. No abundance. So my advice to you is to follow your intuition and to stop sacrificing yourself for a situation that is not realistic. You're in denial about your true path. You are in denial about your true path. 
the hair front reverse somebody the hair in front of uh, front is somebody who follows their true path they follow their own path with conviction it is you could feel free to look it up the hair font believes in themselves they believe in their inner god they follow their own path they don't look back they don't question it they have clear intentions they listen they listen to their inner guide above all you're not you're in denial Three, 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 three. Every single one of them is reversed. You're not allowing growth. Threes are about growth. You're not allowing growth to happen. You're not accepting change. You're not listening to the divine guidance. Threes are also divine guidance. Every single one of them is reversed. You're not listening. You're not listening. Threes are about removing what no longer serves you. You're refusing. My advice to you. Is to act with your heart, not with your mind. Make this decision with your heart. Follow your heart. You, and with the devil down here, you could be driven by materialistic needs staying in this situation as well that you're in right now because, you know, it's, it's financially comfortable. This person gives to you, which I saw. But it's not fulfilling your heart. That's what I have. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. To the one that's in your heart. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Do you love yourself? Anyway, Scorpio, I feel like this is a, is a is a week of hopefully listening to the divine. You are being divinely guided to make some major life changes. Seven 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 five 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 three three three. Talk to you later.